What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is Twin Lakes. Let's fish that. Alright ladies and gents, made my way back out to Lorenzi Park, fishing the park pond, Twin Lakes, and there's actually a good reason for that. You see over the last few weeks when watching on social media, you'll see that there were people that actually caught some bass from this pond, and that made quite a big splash in the fishing community. In the, over the last three years, I've uh, fished here a few times, never seen any bass around, so finally seeing some bass is a good sign. And I want to encourage anyone that catches any bass to please release them so we can get the populations up again. Now sadly I'm not a good enough fisherman to promise that we'll get some bass out there today. But what I want to do is I want to test these waters. I haven't fished here in a while. I want to see what fish are in this body of water, what fish we can catch. Alright, so the best bait to be using when searching for multiple species would be using some night crawlers or earthworms. Uh, any worms is a great way to find fish out there. Almost all the fish that's in the water will eat night crawlers. Yes, you do get the plant eaters that won't go for them, but everything else at some stage will go for some night crawlers. So to try and improve my chances, I'm going to use my carp setup. We're going to have some corn out there and on the bottom hook some night crawlers. The great thing about the corn, tumming the waters, it draws in fish, all sorts of fish, not just carp, every fish comes to the feeding zone. If they see the night crawlers, they might go for that. That is going to be the baits that I'm going to be soaking out there. I'm choosing this specific spot because this is where they stock the fish. And today is the day that they were supposed to stock the channel catfish. So I'm going to try here. If we don't get any bites, we'll move to the second part of the lake, the bit of the deeper water. All right, so I got my carp set up out there. We got some baits soaking out in the water. Uh, this thing has a little alarm on it. It'll scream if anything takes my baits. But on the second rod, the idea is going to be using some pan fish hooks, seeing if I can get some bluegill or green sunfish or any exotic fish in this little pond. But before I get to, to that, because I know there have been bass caught, I'm going to be throwing around some bass lures first, maybe in the shallows looking for some beds. So just to scratch that little itch of mine, just to see if I can get any bass before I move on to the next way of fishing for a different fish. So after seeing a few photos of the bass, I was quite excited. But I have to be honest, the water quality here at Lorenzi Park is a bit off. Lots of algae and stuff around. I'm not quite sure if uh, the water is that clean anymore. But clearly there is still fish around. So let's give it a couple of hours, see if we get anything. All right, so after fishing in this spot for about an hour, we have someone with a little boat driving around as well. Uh, no bites on the carp setup as of yet. I've not seen any movement on that little bobber which is quite concerning. Uh, you would expect even something like bluegill will go for the little night crawler. But this section of the pond uh, got lots of algae in the water. Uh, that's a clear indication of the quality of the water. Having this much algae on the bottom is a bit of a problem. And to be honest, there is a very, I hate to say it, but poopy smell in the air near this water. So I'm thinking maybe we need to try out a different spot. All right, guys, luckily we're not getting skunked today. Getting some hits on the carp setup, but nothing taking the hook yet. So I'm, so I'm drop shotting a tiny little piece of night crawler, and we got ourselves a little bluegill. I've seen some exotic, I've seen some pictures of exotic fish, but good to see that there's at least some bluegill and healthy population of them as well. Let's get this guy back to the water. Lots of trash here in the water, but we're gonna release a little bluegill. And there he goes. Hard to see him swim away, but he went straight under the algae and swam off. All right, so even when using small, tiny hooks and small pieces of night crawlers, this isn't the easiest thing to do. But we got a second little species First one was bluegill, this one is green sunfish, big fat belly on this one, lovely colors on him, the highlighter colors in the face, 
So, second species on the board, all small, but we're getting some fish at least. So, another little catch. Let's get him back in the water. And off he goes. Wow, it seems these fish are getting even smaller as we go on. This is another green sunfish. Big mouth, big enough to get that hook. Tiny little fish, let's get him back. And there he goes. And there we go. Another tiny little bluegill. That's now two bluegill, two green sunfish. The fish seem to be getting smaller. On second thought, having a look at this fish's mouth. It's a big mouth for such a small fish. I think this is actually a bluegill, a bluegill green sunfish hybrid. It of course happens when both of the fish are in the water. They do hybridize meaning this is a hybrid species. Let's get him back into the water. And there we go, another little fish on. Slightly bigger, probably the biggest one for today so far. Lovely little fat bluegill, fat belly on this one. They're feeding pretty well. Lovely little bluegill. Let's get him back into the water. And off he goes. All right, ladies and gents, it's been three hours and a couple of small sunfish later. I was expecting to get some more action out there. Maybe some carp, maybe some catfish. But three hours is too short a time to be fishing, hoping for carp and stuff. Uh, one of the other fishermen fishing around here, he's already caught a carp, but he's been here since early this morning. And when you have a, quite a lot of feeding areas, uh, the carp need to swim around to find your baits. I am surprised that the channel catfish aren't as eager to bite, but talking to some of the other fishermen, it seems that they haven't stocked in quite a while. So maybe soon they'll stock some catfish and the bite will pick up again. And also talking to some of the fishermen, it seems the fishing here is still pretty good. You can catch all sorts of fish. You just need to put in the time to catch them. But I have to say I'm quite disappointed in the way the pond looks. Uh, the guys doing the maintenance around here, they did pick up a dead duck while I was fishing. They are still trying their best, but it is up to us, uh, the people that use the pond, uh, quite a lot of trash in the water as well. So even though it's not necessarily your trash, consider bringing along an extra bag and helping clean up a bit so we have a nice good park that we can fish in. All right, guys, but I think that's enough ranting from me for one day. I want to thank you guys for following me out here. Still recommend this park as a great place to try and catch some fish. All right, but if you enjoyed the video, give me a little thumbs up. Feel free to ask any questions down below in the comments. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button, joining my community. And the last thing to do is thank you for following me out here, and I'll see you next time.